What's going on guys, Juice Messi here and welcome to a brand new video and welcome to your daily dose of transfer gossip. I'd say it is going to be Monday the 17th of June, got confirmed as to go through as well as the rumours. So just before we get started, if you could do that good stuff by leaving a like rating, press the subscribe button if you're new and press the bell notification next to it so you never miss an upload. Yesterday's episode will be down below in the description box and current schedule every day at 8am UK times a new transfer episode. And finally, in the comments section below, what team do you think Paul Pogba will be playing at next season? Man United, Real Madrid, Juventus, or someone else? Right, let's get started with the episode then. And uh, I'm not going to lie, so far today, obviously this could change towards the end of the episode. There hasn't been a confirmed deal to cover. But first up, according to Soccer Link, they sent Arsenal closing in on the signature of Lorient's Alexis Claude Maurice. The 21-year-old Ford is set to become the Gunners' first signing of the summer for a reported £18 million. Pounds. That's after their first two bids were turned down. Claude Maurice has agreed personal terms with Arsenal, a deal that feels imminent but not yet done. And there are apparently 10 other teams interested and one of those is West Ham. The player though does have his mindset on a move to the Gunners and uh, it makes sense why Arsenal fans could be excited about this one because I, I could be wrong here but I believe it's the same team they signed Guendouzi from a year ago. La Stampa are saying Inter are preparing a 40 million euro offer for Eintracht Frankfurt's Ante Rebic and that's the asking price the German club have put on the Croatian international. Atletico Madrid are also rumoured to be interested in signing him and uh, Frankfurt could be coming into a lot of money this summer because they sold Luka Jovic for 60 million euros and maybe now 40 for Rebic. And next up, according to Carlson Mercato, they said Napoli are prepared to pay PSV 50 million euros to sign Herving Lozano. That's after agreeing personal terms with the winger. The Mexico international looks set to become Napoli's most expensive signing in the history after talks between Napoli and Lozano's agent on Thursday. At one point it seemed the deal wouldn't be going through but now Napoli are willing to pay that fee of 50 mil and uh, could be quite a good option for FIFA 20 teams in Serie A. And now according to Sky Sports News, they're saying Real Betis would accept a bid of around £70 million for Tottenham target Giovanni Lo Celso. Lo Celso wants to move to London and Spurs remain in talks to sign the former Paris Saint-Germain midfielder. Part of the delay is Lo Celso's £88 million release clause, which has helped to keep the clubs apart in valuation of the Betis star. Other rumours are suggesting United are still interested and uh, could well make a late bid. And now according to The Guardian, they're saying West Ham's £25 million bid for striker Maxi Gomez has not been accepted by Celta Vigo as they seek to drive up his price. Gomez's contract has a £45 million release clause and the interest from West Ham and Valencia is being used by Celta Vigo to drive up their fee. To join West Ham, he also wants reassurances he'll not be brought in to be a backup to Marco Arnautovic. He wants to be a guaranteed starter wherever he goes and uh, alongside West Ham and the Prem, there's interest there from Wolves. And next up, Sky Sports are saying West Ham have also tabled a bid of £13 million for Ibar midfielder Joan Jordan. It might be Joan Jordan, so if I said his name wrong, I do apologise, but the Hammers are looking to be very, very busy this window. A very short one from the Mail on Sunday is saying that Gareth Bale has been offered a way out of his Real Madrid nightmare by Bayern Munich. They're willing to pay his wages for next season, but it wouldn't be a permanent basis, it'd only be a loan signing. And that potentially could put Real Madrid off doing any business, because they have spent a lot of money so far this year, or this transfer window should I say, and they've got to sell players like Isco, maybe Asensio, Gareth Bale, to recoup their funds back. So financial fair play, it doesn't like go against them in the upcoming years. And if Bale goes out on loan, they miss out on a massive transfer fee. PSG are not expected to retain the services of Kim Pembe. In the event of a considerable offer, especially should they land the lead, reported contracts are there from Arsenal, Chelsea and Manchester United. Any move to take Tottenham's Kieran Trippier to Juventus this summer will largely depend on the future of Manchester City target Joao Cancelo. According to the Daily Mail, City are keen to tempt the Portuguese fullback to England with a bid of £45 million, a deal that could trigger a potential £30 million move for Trippier. It's been a pretty strange year for Trippier because basically exactly one year ago at the World Cup for England, he um, he made it like a new impression of himself on the world stage. He scored a nice free kick or a great free kick and uh, had a very solid tournament. But since then, the year he's had in the Prem, it's not been near that level. And next up, a very interesting one from Gazeta dello Sport. 
They're saying AC Milan are considering offering Frank Kessier to Arsenal as a makeway in a potential deal for Lucas Torreira. The Uruguayan midfielder joined the Gunners from Serie A side Sampdoria in a deal worth £26 million last summer, but has recently spoken about his struggle to adapt to life in England. I mentioned the article a couple days ago about Lucas Torreira, and at that point there weren't really too many teams like linked to him kind of thing, whereas now, I mean, if he is actually available for a transfer or looking for a move, there will be a lot of potential suitors. And now according to HLN, the SM Manchester United have made contact for Belgian international midfielder Yuri Telemans. He had a loan spell for the second half of last season at Leicester City and he had a very very good spell there and now he's expected to leave Monaco on a permanent basis this summer and this could tie him with a potential rumour or a rumour coming up towards the end of the episode. And now moving on according to Ebola, they are saying that Atletico Madrid are preparing to make an offer for sporting star Bruno Fernandes as believed to be worth 60 million euros. Manchester United, Manchester City, Tottenham, Liverpool, Inter, many other teams have been linked so far to 24-year-old attacking midfielder, though Spurs' interest has reportedly cooled in recent days. Sporting are holding out for a large fee, but Atletico are confident of selling the deal by offering 50 million euros up front and a further 10 million bonuses. A short one from the Daily Mirror is saying that Manchester United are confident they can reach a £25 million agreement with Newcastle for midfielder Sean Longstaff. Besiktas have brought an end to their pursuit of Celta attacker Emery Moore, that's according to Marca. The Turkish giant saw an initial offer of €3 million Euros knocked back by the Spanish side and they cannot afford to match the €14 million Euro asking price. And Emery Moore is a player that a couple years ago when he was playing for Borussia Dortmund. Despite not playing too many games for them, he was considered as a massive, massive talent, but now recently, it hasn't really gone his way. And next up, an interesting one from Football Italia. They're saying Roma centre-back Kostas Malas has agreed personal terms with Napoli, although the two clubs are yet to finalise a deal. And alongside Football Italia, Sky Sports Italia are saying the same thing. Napoli may offer a player in exchange as opposed to meeting his 36 million release clause. Amadou Diawara is one of the names being suggested as a potential swap, whereas for Roma, they're more interested in forward Dries Mertens. Roma are looking to bring in and readjust their squad for next season because as of right now, their campaign last year, it really wasn't up to standards. They brought in a new manager, a link to a new goalkeeper and whatnot, and potentially Mertens at Roma, that could be very interesting. Manchester United are interested in signing Issa Diop and they're willing to pay £45 million plus a player for the West Ham defender. But West Ham have said let it be known that Diop is not for sale and if they were to consider selling him, it'd cost over 60 mil. That's according to Sky Sports. And they do say Issa Diop would be a cheaper and younger alternative for Manchester United than Kaladu Koulibaly or Harry Maguire. They haven't said what players have been offered to West Ham to potentially lower the fee a little bit, um, but the article does say that United have offered two players so far, both were defenders, but West Ham are not interested. And next up we have another update about Mats Hummel's potential return to Borussia Dortmund, and now according to Build in Germany, the SM Bayern and Borussia Dortmund have agreed a fee for defender Mats Hummels. The defender will return to Borussia Dortmund for €20 million Euros, or £18 million, pounds, plus additional bonuses, while Anna Green has also been reached on Hummel's salary. I think it'd be a good move for the league in general because obviously last season Bayern won the title yet again and that's despite Dortmund having a very very nice lead but unfortunately for them they came short and they did lack a certain amount of experience and Hummels brings that in. Napoli and Real Madrid have agreed a 10 million euro loan fee for James Rodriguez but haven't reached a deal for an option to retain the Colombian international permanently. That's according to Tuto Napoli. I mentioned yesterday how apparently Adidas are willing to pay his wages at Napoli and they're, they're willing to offer 30 million euros to get him on a permanent, but Real Madrid is still holding out for 40. And next up, a story from the Daily Mirror. They said Salah was tempted by the possibility of a move to either Real Madrid or Juventus and may revisit that situation in 12 months time. Mirror Sport can reveal the turbocharged forward who has scored 71 goals in just 104 games for Jurgen Klopp's side had been tempted by the prospect of joining the Real Madrid Galacticos or a return to Italy where he played for Roma. But after helping Liverpool win the Champions League and being featured as an Anfield hero, he feels the timing is wrong to leave Merseyside. I'm not sure how much truth there is in this article because it seems like a pretty easy story to write uh, because say in 12 months time he potentially could be leaving or there are rumours again, they can't really be wrong by what they're saying. 
Then we have a massive story about Paul Pogba yet again, and this time it's the quotes from the man himself. He told reporters in Tokyo yesterday, after this season and everything that has happened this season, will it be my best season as well? I think for me it could be a good time to have a new challenge somewhere else. So he suggests that he wants to move away from Manchester United, and it might not come as a shock to many people kind of thing, but he's publicly said it now, and it goes hand in hand with a lot of rumours circulating right now saying he could be leaving, he wants to leave, and Real Madrid and Juventus, they're, they're the favourites for him. And ABC said just before this article came out that Pogba is ready to force a move to Real Madrid by submitting a transfer request to Manchester United. He's already agreed to take a pay cut to join the Capital Club, but he's still yet to convince United to let him go. And it's also the story I was on about when I was covering the Tielemans story, because they could bring Tielemans in to replace Paul Pogba, we'll have to wait and see. So it turns out, when I was in the commentary, no confirmed deal was happening, but as soon as I stopped the commentary, there has been a done deal, it's not a player though, it is going to a manager. Maria Cesari has been appointed the new Juventus manager on a three year contract from Chelsea. They haven't said who's replacing him at Stamford Bridge as of yet, but the favourite does still seem to be former player Frank Lampard. There are rumours saying that Derby have offered Frank Lampard and his team a contract extension, but I think it'd be very, very tough for Lampard to turn that opportunity down. But that, guys, is going to be it for this video. So if you could do that good stuff by leaving a like rating, press the subscribe button if you're new, and press the bell notification next to it so you never miss an upload. Yesterday's episode will be down below in the description box, and current schedule every day at 8 AM UK times a new transfer episode. And finally, in the comment section below, what team do you think Pogba will be playing for next season? So thank you for watching this video, I'll see you next time.